Big welcome everybody to our free live class. And again, as you know, this is Irish Flair Week and we really want everybody to get the hashtag out there. So listen, make it easy for us. In the comments below, let us know who you are, where you're watching in from, and also use the hashtag. You know the two lines down, two lines across? And just write Irish Flair Week, no spaces in between the words, and you'll see it coming up in a different colour. So Irish Flower Week is sponsored by the Flower Farmers of Ireland. A lot of you probably didn't realise that we actually grow flowers here in Ireland. To be honest, I didn't even realise the selection of flowers that was available and available commercially as well. So that's the great thing about the Flower Farmers of Ireland is they are promoting, okay, in Ireland, commercially cut flowers, but also commercially cut foliage at all levels. So whether you're med small, medium, or even very large. So what do you do is to their members, okay, they support them, they advise them on the cultivation, the growing, the marketing, the sales, and they have lots of opportunities also for free training courses. So it's all about sustainability, environmentally friendly, looking after the environment, and they asked us would we come on board this week. And you know us here in Case Flair School, we love a challenge. So we had two lovely flower farmers approached us, and one was Grania from Graw Cut Flowers, if somebody would maybe tag her there in the comments, and the lovely Anna from Big Sky Flowers. And they supplied us with this amazing selection of flowers. So every day you'll see I'm using completely different flowers, okay? So this, the, all of these flowers, like even these amazing peonies, okay? These are all growing, grown here in Ireland. So what I'm going to do today maybe is a simple wedding bouquet for the bride that would like to use flowers from her own garden, do you know the way? Or what I find what's on trend at the moment is brides maybe living abroad, and then they want to come home to Ireland to get married, okay? And they have this idea that they would love Irish grown flowers in their bouquet instead of imported, and they would like maybe the flowers to be more environmentally friendly. So today or all this week, we are not using any floral foam at all. We're doing to the best as we can, keeping everything kind of like all natural. So what I have in front of me are these amazing Veronica. It's actually, it's hard to believe these are grown in Ireland, like excellent quality. Fabulous Sweet William. Now you know we're a lover of the Sweet William here at, at the school. Um, a couple of stems of the Oregonum or Sea Holly. This is beautiful. The amazing um, peonies. And I'm gonna, not going to use too much foliage. I have a little bit of the apple mint which gives a fabulous scent. But the, the scent of the peonies is something else. Hmm, bit of leaf in my mouth. And um, thank God it's not a fly. And also I have a little bit of the uh, tansy foliage. But again, I'm going to keep it kind of like mostly flowery here today. So it's really just more a simple bunch of flowers, you know that way, using flowers from your own garden. Now obviously these flowers are not going to be available all the year round, you know that way. But I suppose that's the great thing then, is your local flowers will be able to source similar flowers, you know the way for you. But this week it's all about Irish grown flowers, Irish flower week and it's from the 3rd of July till the 10th of July and every day during the week at 12 o'clock join us here at Case Flower School to watch a free live class. Is there anyone watching at all? Do you? Yeah there's a couple of people watching and um, Sarah wants to know where to get your jumper. Oh what's it called? Walk in wardrobe, walk in wardrobe, take a sale on. You'll notice this week I'll have a different colour one on every day. I think they were reduced to 20 euros. Deirdre even bought them. I said to Deirdre we'll have to pick our days, what days we're going to wear them. So I'm just getting my hand tied twine ready. I suppose I should have showed you how to do that, you know the way. So just measure yourself out, you know, like roughly a yard of twine, a metre of twine. Okay, this is just hand tied twine. Leave yourself about 30 centimetres. Fold it over, make a loop for yourself two and a half centimetres approximately, and where you're pinching the loop together, just basically tie a knot, like a double knot. See the knot? And there you have your twine ready. You can leave it straight if you want to, you know that way. I always do it that way, I just kind of think it's easier. You want to use a little bit of raffia, or sorry, not raffia, hessian for wrapping around the handle, but you could use fabric, maybe cotton or that, that would match or complement your wedding dress. And I have some pair of pins for securing the ribbon in place. Okay, so I'm going to start off maybe with a peony. So I'm not going to kind of like 
planned this too much, you know, that sort of way. So I'm going to take up a little peony and then I'm going to add a little bit of our Sweet William around it and just kind of like nestle the flower, can you see in there? And then just as a little bit of packing underneath it, can you see the way a little bit of foliage underneath it? And maybe on this side, isn't that scent, this, this, the colour of that I meant to say, absolutely beautiful, but the scent is amazing as well. And then I'm just going to add in another colour peony. Now the great thing about this sort of bouquet, it's made in the hand, okay? It's not done as an all wired wedding bouquet, which is that little bit more difficult. Now just we have a little baby one growing on the side there, we don't want to waste it. So just cutting it off, I'll stick that down in water and that'll do for the demonstration class. Next week I'll use that up. So again, just bringing our heads in there, just kind of like nice and close, nice and tight. And at the moment, everything is kind of straight in my hand. Now this is going to be a hand-tied bouquet. And like, there's no way I'm going to teach hand-tied bouquets in a half an hour demonstration class. Like it's just not possible. As good as I am, we're not that good. But listen, we do actually have a hand-tied bouquet program, okay, that you can download. And it takes at least a day to make hand-tied bouquets to get all the techniques. So as part of that program, we give you a list of materials that we recommend you to buy. And that way then you're using the exact same flowers that I'm using in the program. And then you can copy it all step by step. And obviously with all our programs, we offer like um, if you need any support or if you have any questions, you know, that way you can just contact us. So I'm just adding in a little bit of the sea holly there. And then I'm adding in a little bit more of our um, sweet William. So I have now started spiraling the flowers out to my left hand side. So that's kind of one thing when you're doing hand tied bouquets is you have to decide are you a right handed person or are you a left handed person? Now you probably know from writing, do you know that way? Now I'm definitely a right handed person. So when you're right handed you hold the bouquet in your left hand and all your stems are being spiralled to the left. So you can see all the stems are kind of crossing over that way. I'm holding the bouquet down just so that I can see it kind of coming together. Now, when you start doing this yourself, you know that way, don't be under the illusion, oh God, like that looks really easy. It takes a little bit of practice, you know. So normally with our online programs, um, what we do is we get the students to do a kind of like, 10, 12, 15 times, you know the way, in just foliage and get the technique of it, you know the way, and then kind of like move on to flowers. But again, if you need, like with the online program, they can watch a free preview, can't they do it? I think so, they? yeah, you yeah. You can watch a free preview before you actually uh, purchase it, and then you can see, is it actually suitable for yourself, or is it going to answer the questions that you have? So you can see the way I'm just adding the little bits of Veronica in there, a little bit more of our sea holly or erignum as it's called, a little bit more of our um, sweet william. And as you can see, I'm not, there's a nice little short one there, I'm not really using any system, do you know that way, or any technique. It's a real it's just summer admin. bouquet, it's isn't it? a summer bouquet. Well, obviously it is summer, it's June, it's Irish Flower Week, Deirdre. So July. Oh, July. So if you were getting married, um, do you want to get married again, Deirdre? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once bitten. Twice um, but it would make an amazing summer bouquet, wouldn't it, for somebody? It would, absolutely, yeah. So again, if anybody has any questions, you know that way, feel free to put them in the comments there. And as we've been saying all week, if anybody wants something or is a question and think, I'd love if she demonstrated, I know you've all been asking us about the wedding bouquet, but if you would like something kind of demonstrated, just put it in the comments there. We'll do the best we can, it won't promise you, you know that way, but I'll definitely do the best I can and uh, help you out. Now the great thing about hand ties is see the way you can still stick um, items kind of like down through the material that's already there. So that's once you've done your spiral, you can see the way everything just kind of like slots down into it. Now maybe the first once or twice that you do this, it might work out as Yeah, and um, Laura says you make it look so easy. <laughs> if you've done as many hand ties as I did, Laura, you would find it easy as well. It's coming together nicely. It is actually, yeah, yeah. Our sweet William over there. Normally, um, I would say to the students is to have a mirror in the room beside them. Do you know that way? When they're making their wedding bouquets so that they can look in the mirror. So you're having to be my mirror and um, that you can see then exactly where the, the, the other material is going to go. So I'm just kind of hoping and kind of like potluck and Deirdre will probably give me a shout out if she thinks I need something else anywhere. No, you could do it a bit, uh, Veronica, over this over side. Yeah, side. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. On the outside. Yeah. There we go. 
let's get this fire up. Now, a few little leaves there. Just make sure that there's no foliage below your tying point. That's really important to be happy enough. Yeah, that's, no, top there. Top, yeah. There we go. So you can see, like, it's handy to have the mirror, do you know that way? Because then you can see exactly where you need the other material. Do you know that way? It is hard when it's kind of like yeah. up close, kind of beside you there. That's it. There we go. Happy enough? Yeah. No, that one is sticking out too much on it. Leave that one out altogether. Okay. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, it's all a natural. Shift. There's yeah. one little cop on spot, we leave it. So now we're ready to tie it up. So this is where your hand tie twine comes in handy. So you bring it around just above where your hand was holding it, okay? Because that's what's called your tying point. And what I've done is I brought the long string in through the loop. You remember that loop I made, okay? And then I can kind of pull it tight and not too tight. And that's why I always make two, because if you pull it too tight, you break it. And the thing about this hand tie twine, it's designed to break if you pull it too hard. So that way it won't break the flowers. So just in case, I really think, oh, should I use the twine from the pound shop? Won't do the same job. You know that way, what happened with the pound shop twine, if you pull it too hard, it snaps. It'll, if it doesn't snap, it'll break your flowers. It'll snap your flowers. I better not pull this one too hard. So go around twice and pull it a little bit harder and go around three times and pull it a little bit harder and go around four times and pull it a little bit harder. And you can ground as many times as you want. And then you can lie it on the table and you tie your two pieces of twine together in a double knot. Now again, for anybody joining us, everything here in this bouquet is Irish grown, all grown here in Ireland, okay? And this week, as it's Irish Flower Week, we're promoting the flower farmers of Ireland and they're based all over Ireland. And again, if there is any of them watching there, feel free to promote yourself. And there's a lot of them are our past students have trained Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. Yeah. Or we would have a lot of farmers who have come to us where they are growing the flowers, but maybe they're being asked to do wedding bouquets or presentation bouquets or funeral wreaths and they don't know how to use the material. So that's, remember, you can always do a course with Case Flower School. So then we want to cut our handle. I normally like a good two hands measurement. You know that way when I'm doing the handle on a wedding bouquet. But some brides like them a little bit longer. You know, and I, I actually think it's a bit trendy now that they are that bit longer. A little bit longer, yeah. yeah. Where for a few years there, they were real short, stumpy handles. And now the handles are a little bit longer. But it's completely up to yourself. So we we'll go a little, a little, a little bit longer, longer too yeah. long, okay? Um, Louis, or not Louise, Lauren is asking, where does a bride hold her bouquet? So like... I normally think a hand tie should be held kind of to the side of the body. Do you know that way? And I'm going to cover this handle in a second, but kind of over there. I actually don't like it in front of the stomach like that, unless mm. she's pregnant and she's trying to hide it. Well, then you need to make a bigger bouquet than that. Well, then she could hold it in front of her stomach. But I just think casually. And sometimes with the longer handle on it, you probably can't see it here. You know what I mean? It's to kind of hold it upside down. Yeah. You know that way? Just casually in her hand, I personally think is the nicest way. But like that would be beautiful for the bridesmaids as well. Yeah. And again, you could do a smaller one for the little flower girl and keep the same theme throughout the wedding. Now, normally um, if we're using like a satin ribbon that I would be afraid of it getting damp, I'd put a waterproof ribbon underneath. But it's all about being environmentally friendly today. Dear, just give me the eye. Yeah. You're not to use any, any ribbon like that. So I'm just going to wrap our, and the hessian is great, you know what I mean, because it doesn't really absorb the water. Could you have a new scissors, Deirdre? Is there any chance the finances might stretch to a new ribbon for us? I think, I know we're poor, but we're not that poor. I'm going to use a pearl pin, you know, like a little straight pin. This one has a little pearl on it. And I'm going to use that to secure the ribbon at the top of the handle. So just up here, up over my hand tie twine, I'm going to get my pearls, my pins, and I'm going to stick them kind of like through the ribbon, but actually into the bouquet as well. So it's kind of gone up into the stems. I'm going to use two of them, you know me, to be sure, to be sure, to be feckin' well sure. And again, it's up to you, like, you know I mean, how much of the handle you want to wrap. I normally like to wrap enough that she's actually got, she, he, that she's going to hold, you know, that way. But I hate the handle to be covered the whole way down. Like, you know what I mean? I just, I don't like it. I like to see a bit of the natural stem at the bottom because that is the whole idea, you know, that way, that it is a hand-tied bouquet. So wrap as much or as little of it as you want. Probably have enough there, do you? Yeah, know, I think, think so, yeah. And then we'll just wrap that around there. And we're going to cut off, I hope the scissors are sharp enough. We'll cut off our surplus ribbon. And what I normally do then is I kind of fold in the hem part and just make sure that I'm matching the other side. 
make it as neat as I can. It's not perfectly neat, you know that way. Now, I probably would love the pearl pin with a different colour pearl at the top, you know that way, where the white is a bit flashy against the hessian. But listen, I was put under pressure. I was told I wasn't to use sellotape. I wasn't to use plastic, you know that way. And I said, Jamie Mac, I'd be lucky if I can find a packet of pearl pins here. Anyway, I'm using three pearl pins. But I probably would prefer if the pearl pin had an orange one at the top or a brown yeah. one, you know that way. Or even a pinky one. There probably is pink there if I went looking. But listen, I'm going to use these. I have the pink na nails and should that will do the job. So there we go. I'm putting three little pins there, you see, just to hold it. And there is our simple Irish grown flower wedding bouquet. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Remember to share our video. It's really, really important. Promote Irish Flower Week by using the hashtag. So when you share our video, use the hashtag Irish Flower Week. Try and tag Flower Farmers of Ireland and tag the two lovely ladies who provided all these amazing flowers. Grania from Grawco Flowers. Um, Anna from Big Sky Flowers and listen if anybody has any questions on Irish grown flowers don't contact us contact Grania and contact Anna they're more than willing to help you and also post any of your questions over on the Flower Farmers of Ireland and remember did I say to them about signing up to the link oh no okay if anybody would like a list of all the um, the flower growers around Ireland what we're going to do is we're going to add that list. Do you remember the program I gave you all for free? Most of you are signed up to it. Nearly all our followers have signed up to it. So it's, a, it's an online tutorial that you can sign up to and it's the treatment and conditioning of all flowers, whether they're grown in Holland or they're grown in Ireland. The treatment will be exactly the same and it's completely free. So in the comments below, just maybe ask Sinead. Sinead is our sister and she looks after this end of things. So ask Sinead to send you the link and she'll organise it, she'll respond to you and she'll get the link to you. Because what we're going to do is within that programme, we're going to put all the information about the Flower Farmers of Ireland. It's the easiest way to get it all out to you. But again, anybody that's watching there and you are a flower farmer and you're growing flowers, why don't you promote yourself? Or if there's anybody watching and is looking for the name or details, just ask the question, ask and you will receive. Ask the question, does anybody know a flower grower in Wicklow? And somebody will tag somebody there for you or they'll absolutely help you out. So the best of luck, remember to join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock for another free live class. And if there's something you'd like me to demonstrate, put it in the comments below and I'll definitely try and help you out as much as I can.